The guests and discussions on this show are not endorsed by the show or show host. The content is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Nothing you hear is intended to substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, and or treatment by a qualified health professional. Welcome to Health Revolution with V, your integrative health adventure. Welcome to the Health Revolution with V Show. I am so excited for our guest today. We have the amazing Joy Melton. She is a clinical and school psychologist, certified brain health coach, how exciting, integrative nutrition health coach, and registered 200-hour yoga teacher. So we have an all-inclusive, power-packed show today. She has worked in the wellness field for more than 20 years with both adults and with children. Joy is the founder of Resilient Soul Integrative Wellness Center in Sebastian, Florida. The focus of Resilient Soul Wellness is to help adults and children better manage and offset the impact of chronic stress, which we all have today, and trauma using a holistic and integrative mind, body, and spirit approach. So without further ado, welcome, Joy. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It is such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Excited to be here. I bet. I bet. Well, you know how much I love talking about holistic health. So I would first love for you to tell us about you. Like, what? Tell us about you and how you ended up on this path. Yeah, uh, it's been a very, very long road to get this path. Um, it started really as as a child, just different experiences that I had, adverse experiences. Um, majority of that, a lot of it was, there was a little bit of family stuff. We all have some family dysfunction, but the majority of it was bullying in school. So I was chronically bullied for pretty much my whole school career, um, which culminated in death threats by the time I was a senior in high school. So wow. it was not a good experience. I hated school. Um, very interesting that I ended up being a school psychologist and working in schools since I didn't really like the experience. I, I, I excelled, you know, with the school stuff and got along with my teachers, but the interactions with peers just wasn't that great. I remember having panic attacks at age eight and then experiencing some anxiety and depression in my teens, although I didn't really know what that was at the time. I just knew that there was a lot of pressure on me, really unhappy, really miserable, was just really trying to get through those high school years. Um, by the time I turned 19, I uh, had a lot of health issues, broke out in hives, um, chronic fatigue syndrome, um, fibromyalgia, ended up with a diagnosis of bipolar disorder at 19. And that's actually what made me want to go into psychology. Um, my first therapist was, she was a little rock star. Um, she was from the Philippines and her name was Monica and she was absolutely amazing. And that experience is what really set the stage for what therapy could be as a psychologist. And I really considered her my lifesaver at that time. So um, I w went to therapy for many, many years. Again, in, in, totally believe in it. That's why I became a therapist. And But I still struggled for, for many, many years, more than two decades did I struggle, just feeling like I, I was just surviving, not really thriving, mm -hmm. even though I was going to therapy and rehashing, going over everything, trying to figure it out. I, I still was kind of at a loss of that. I come to um, skydiving in, oh gosh, what was it, 2015? Oh, love skydiving. Love skydiving. It was an energy shift and um, felt like a new person when I left, like the person that exited the plane was not the person that landed on the ground. I love and it was that. kind of like, okay, I just jumped out of a plane. What can't I do exactly. at this point? So, <laughs> exactly. Um, but that skydiving also led to an injury which oh. again led to learning about energy healing and pulse electromagnetic field therapy and different types of healing devices that that injury it was destined to happen. I know why it happened. Sure. Um, and so that led me to a device called the Beamer, Beamer therapy. And I started using that for the skydiving injury and all my other health issues, my stress level, my you know anxiety, my sleep issues, my digestive issues, all of that stuff resolved. And then I was like, wait a minute, there's a whole nother world here that nobody told me about. So mm. I started really delving into it and figured out from that that I started looking for other holistic practices and therapies that could, could help me learn to thrive. And I, I figured out that solution. So that's kind of why I do what I do. That's why Resilient Soul exists, so that other people that aren't familiar with these therapies can learn about them so they too can have their story and learn to thrive like I did. I think it's amazing. Thank you. And you know, those root experiences um, put us on the path 
to help so many people, Mm -hmm. right? So once we've gone through that, like when we're in it, it's like, oh gosh, I don't want to be in this and I don't want to go through that. But at the end of that tunnel, like look at all of the people Mm -hmm. that you've helped because of that root experience. It's Mm -hmm. amazing. Yep. That's very exciting. Let's talk about your center because I know you have a lot going on there. Give us the overview. And I think we'll pull some pictures up and show the center while you're Maybe you can run through that Mm -hmm. with us. For those of you who are on a podcast or radio version, please be sure to watch the video version. You get to see this beautiful center. Let's talk about some of that. Yeah, so the wellness center, I I knew it was there because I had previously done some contracting work with the previous business there in 2020 before they closed. And so Resilient Soul Wellness, what what I envision for the center is, again, a place that multiple independent contractors come together with different healing modalities. We're all working together for the greater good of the community to help people know about these healing modalities that can help them, help heal their stress, help with some chronic health issues. Um, So we offer um, massage therapy. We have cranial sacral therapy. We have Reiki healing. We have, of course, the Beamer therapy. Um, We have the sound healing machine. People can do individual sound therapy sessions as well. I offer coaching. Most of that coaching is stress management related or lifestyle changes. Um, Again, we have yoga, um, two or three different teachers that teach that. And then we have different sound bath meditations that are there. And then I offer services for kids as well as adults and several other things that help with um, resetting the nervous system, rooted in polyvagal theory, um, trying to hit it from from all angles from the different things that I've learned over the years. So it's it's a really big undertaking, um, but it, it's been really, really good and very well received with community, which makes me excited. Heck yeah, that's a lot of information. Yeah. So we're gonna start chipping away at the yeah. pieces, okay? Let's talk about, you said Beamer therapy a few times. Let's talk yeah. about that. Tell me about Beamer therapy. So Beamer therapy is considered a pulse electromagnetic field therapy. It is a mat that you lay on and it um, makes an electronic field around your a magnetic field around your body. So it's similar to earthing and grounding. So, you know, that's how we are power all electrical beings, right? The body, everything in the universe. And so if we're out walking barefoot on the beach, we're getting that grounding. We're getting that magnetic field from the earth. So Beamer is in the same frequency range and it has a similar effect on the body without having to walk barefoot on the beach multiple miles a day to get that effect. So you just lay on it for eight minutes. There's relaxing music that plays. Um, If you have it, it works for your whole body, improving circulation for your whole body. But then if you have a problem area, like for me, my injury was my foot. So I was targeting that specifically or my belly for digestion or my brain for, you know, just improving blood flow and circulation to my brain. So the main benefits of Beamer is it has a stress and relaxation response. So that's always a standard in, in my um, practice and the things that we do. It also helps improve localized blood flow and circulation. So it helps get oxygen and nutrients where they need to go and it helps get waste products and toxins out of the body, um, which also means that if you're dealing with stress, stress hormones get stagnant in your body. So it's also able to help if it's improving blood flow, it's helping some of those things move as well. Um, helps with sleep and cardiovascular functioning and there's a whole slew of athletes use it it doesn't have to be somebody that just you know has something wrong with them a lot of people use it as a preventative wellness device to help them age well so that we can kind of curb we call it squaring the curve curb in the aging process yes squaring the curve (laughs) of the aging process eight minutes eight minutes at Resilience Whole Wellness and you can get all of this going on in your body. So don't go away. We have so much more to talk about with Joy and we just need to honor our commercial sponsors, the ones who make this show possible. So we'll be back in just a moment. Don't go away. Apex Electric is a family-owned and operated, licensed and insured electrical contractor with over 30 years of experience. No job is too big or too small. With free estimates and a one-year warranty, Apex Electric is your premier contractor on the Treasure Coast. A-A-P-E-X Electric, Inc. Dot com. Google Bins Pass Control, Florida. Got bugs, you know what to do. Call 772-878-1972. Forever Young Stewart can help you look and feel your best with our amazing aesthetic services, IV therapies, and bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. 
These services and more will aid in your overall physical and mental health. Please visit us at foreveryoungstewart.com. That's the number four everyoungstewart.com. Have you been told that you need to cut way back on sugars due to a health condition? Do you find yourself struggling to give up the sugars even though you know your health depends upon it? If you answered yes, my online Hidden Sugars class is for you. Take charge of your health and visit eatingwithv.com and take the class. Welcome back to the Health Revolution with V. I am here with Joy Melton, the amazing lady with Resilient Soul Wellness. She has so many things under one roof, all different practitioners and practices. So make sure, and actually your website is resilientsoulwellness.com. That's resilientsoulwellness.com. Let's bring Joy back because we have lots to talk about in very little time. So Joy, being a um, psychologist, you offer coaching, and there's a big difference between coaching and psychology. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that. Yeah. Um, so it started out again, you know, I am a psychologist, so I started out doing this psychology thing um, and really enjoyed that. But, you know, through my own experience of going through therapy, the piece that was missing was somebody that was there to be with me to to help me figure out how to get from A to B or A to Z, if that makes sense. There's um, a long road when you're struggling with, with mental illness and um, when you're doing it, it feels like you're doing it alone. So I really like the coaching perspective because I feel like you know I'm more of a mentor or a guide. There's several therapists out there. So I like to work with therapists and psychiatrists with their patients and try to help them because of, of the relationship. I mean, you can't disclose so much. There's that that transference thing, you you know, you can't get too close. You can't, you know, it's a totally different way that you approach people. Um, there's a more professional versus a more personal mm -hmm. um, type of relationship that I can can get with them. Um, I mean, sometimes I even, I do coaching sessions while we go for a walk. We do coaching sessions down by the water. We do coaching sessions in lots of different places, wherever my client needs to be for us to to really tap into or, or get them to do the things that I want them to do or need them to do or they need to do to, to, to get healthy and feel that mind-body connection integration, that healing process of, of that, like whatever they need to do for that. So that's kind of why, why I, I like that approach. Um, do you feel like though most people maybe are more open mm -hmm. uh, to a coach than like a therapist? Maybe is that do you I, find that I to be do, true? Yes, and you know, I'm part of that, and I was debating on whether to talk about that or not. There really is, even though I'm a psychologist, there is a huge stigma associated with mental illness. There really is, and I have been fighting for more than 20 years to break that stigma. I even was on the board for you know a, a NAMI chapter in South Carolina, the National Alliance for Mental Illness. I was championing and doing education in schools for kids so that they better understood it. However, that stigma still exists. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really feel that a lot of kids I work with or adults even, I don't really feel, I think that a lot of people are, are struggling with normal life things and we've made everything like a pathology. We, we label a lot of things that are our real life struggles. And I don't know that it necessarily needs a diagnosis mm -hmm. to get help or to, to be able to find the solutions that's going to make people feel better. Stress is a huge, a huge piece of that. It affects everything and stress is so rampant. Oh, right I couldn't now, agree for with sure. You. So we have, we have so much stress all around us. We do not just work stress, but you know, um, uh, country stress, like mm -hmm. child stress, school stress, time mm -hmm. constraint stress. Like it's everywhere. Food stresses. There's so much going on. There is, and so that takes us right into the next segue. So mm -hmm. we were talking about stress, and like, tell us like some of the things that happen with stress, especially when it comes to mental illness. So stress, first of all, you know, stress right now, 90% of doctor's visits are stress-related symptoms for adults. 35% of doctor's appointments right now are stress-related for kids, which I think both of those numbers are, are really skyrocketing. Um, stress itself it impacts so many different body parts. It affects the way your brain works. It affects your heart health. It affects your um you know, your weight, your sleep. There's so many different things that, that impacts the gut health for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but the biggest thing is, you know, even the, the cognitive, like it, it kills brain cells. Like we're not even, you know, we don't even realize those types of things, but it, it completely, and it impacts your relationships with other people. It impacts your productivity at work. It, it really is a big hit 
overall in all areas of your life that a lot of people don't even realize. And I think that stress, it is so commonplace that we don't even think about it. We just, it's there and we just try to muddle through it. That's not the best approach. So um, mm -hmm. what I really like is a proactive approach. Like, yes, people come to me that are already overextended and already overstressed and, you know, totally worn out and burned out. And, and we help them find their way back to that balance, but we have to keep the balance or be proactive knowing that we're going to have the ups and downs in life. And how do we, how do we weather the storm? How do we develop that resilient soul? How do we build that resilient soul so that we can weather all the storms that are going to come at us in life? And we're going to need, you know, help. Sometimes we're going to have a struggle, but I really like to educate and empower my clients so that they feel that they are in charge and in control of that and that they can really do it on their own after we work together for a while. Sometimes they come back to see me, great. But if they can do it on their own, even better. If I'm able to develop people that are fully capable of sustaining and managing it on their own, that's a win-win for everybody. So what kind, of, what kind of tools and tricks and tips do you have? Like, can you share some of the things that you mm -hmm. might work with a client and how you might mm -hmm. help them out? Yeah, so we do lots of different things. And of course, everybody's experience with me is individualized. It depends on, there's no cookie cutter recipe. I didn't want to develop a five-step plan because I know that that's not, it's not going to work for everybody. Right. So um, whatever we decide, we want to work on. And then a lot of what I do is every session, coaching session starts with a Beamer therapy session because that's helping them get relaxed and ready for the, the work that we're going to do. But then also we work a lot on self-compassion, having that self-compassion for ourselves. A lot of us are lacking that and we talk, talk worse to ourselves than we would anybody else that we know. Mm -hmm. um, so just self-acceptance, that radical self-acceptance, self um, the self-compassion, getting into mindfulness practices, guided meditation. So I really walk people through that because a lot of times when we're stressed, we're stuck in that um, fear or worry cycle, right? We're worried about things that have happened in the past or we're, we're fearing things that may happen in the future and that regret. And so it's really having that shift to be able to accept life as it is, and this is where we are, and then moving forward, and then the different strategies and skills that we can do and develop, whether that's yoga, breath work, we work breath work into the, the uh, sessions as well. So there you go, all inclusive. We have a lot more to talk about, so don't go away because we definitely wanna revisit. We still have lots of questions to ask Joy. We have a little bit of time left with her. So we'll be back after the break, don't go away. Is your insurance company telling you that you have to replace your roof? Nice Roofing is a family and veteran owned and operated local business. Choose peace of mind and quality work with this Owens Corning Platinum Certified Contractor. Join thousands of satisfied customers. Visit NiceRoofing.com. Need plumbing fast? Choose Benjamin Franklin Plumbing of Port St. Lucie. Our, if there's any delay, it's you we pay, guarantee insurers punctuality. For every minute we're late, we pay you $5, up to $300. Call today at 772-CALL-BIN for reliable service you can count on. Join a dynamic and robust business directory tailored to maximize your business exposure. The Martini Network has been connecting business professionals in a fun and productive way since 2008. Join us at martininetwork.biz. That's martininetwork.biz. When disaster strikes, turn to the experts at Dry Medic of Port St. Lucie. For all your mediation needs, water, fire, mold, we've got you covered. Fast, reliable, and experienced. Call us today at 772-404-3266. Dry Medic, restoring peace of mind when you need it the most. Welcome back to the Health Revolution with V Show. We are still here with Joy Melton, the amazing Resilient Soul Wellness owner. And she has put together this incredible community of all different holistic practitioners. And we were talking about stress on the break. If you missed any part of that, please go back and watch it. Joy's been a wealth of information. And her website is resilientsoulwellness.com. That's resilientsoulwellness.com. Dot com. We're going to pick up the stress topic again because that is such a big deal today. Everybody is under so much stress and it affects our mental health, whether we believe it does or not, or even realize it does or not. So Joy, welcome back. 
I definitely want to pick that up on the children's end because mm -hmm. we know our kids are so stressed today. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about how the stress is impacting the children? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. So, like I said, you know, stress, it doesn't matter your age. We all experience it. I think one of the, the biggest things that I struggle with is kids don't experience things like adults do. So I think a lot of us don't think that they're under um, different amounts of stress. Um, or that it's comparable. So I think sometimes that gets, they get invalidated for that, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but what I do believe is happening when, when kids are, when they get distressed or overly stressed, then a lot of times that presents as behavioral difficulties. And so that's one of my, you know, little things I, I champion for is that, you know, being able to understand that when we see behavioral stuff, you know, the kids probably dysregulated and we expect them to meet different expectations or, be compliant and uh, we look at them as being defiant when when they're not and a lot of that is because they're in a stress response and aren't able to shift out of it without an adult's co-regulation support if that makes sense so i think that that we have a lot of kids that are really struggling and misunderstood that are being impacted by stress and nobody's really addressing that so that's a big thing for me what i want to address is if you can't see her passion like when we talked at the very beginning of the show you explained that that was you, right? Mm -hmm. You went through that as a child and you had the behavioral things and you had all this going on and how she full circled, right? And healed herself. And she can see these things in children that maybe even as parents, you can't see, but she comes from that place of knowing like she had been there. So talk about, you couldn't ask for a better person to be working with your children, especially with behavioral issues, because it's clear that you have mm. that passion. So I just had to throw that out there because Thank as you. I'm listening to you speak and I'm watching you, yeah. you can, I can feel it on you, that passion in you to help those children that were where you were. Mm -hmm. And, and if you can't see that, I mean, I would share this video with anyone who has children that are having any kind of issues with and challenges with behavioral issues because definitely stress is a huge factor in that. It is huge. And then a, a big part of my working with, with children is working with parents. Somebody has to reinforce what I'm working with the kids on while they're not in a session with me. So parent education is a really, really big part of what I do when I do kids sessions. It's a, it's a family session. I think that's wonderful. And that's so important. I it mean, is. the children are children are children. They're not supposed to be in charge, mm -hmm. you know, and I think having that support from the parent, the parent is like their coach, right? Right. The, you are the parent, are the coach of your child and helping them. So you teaching the parents mm -hmm. is monumental. Well, they're the ones that's dealing with it the majority of the time. I see them first. You know, it's like even when I was a school psychologist going into the classrooms, they're like, well, when you come in the classroom, they're perfect. I'm like, okay, well, let me teach you what I do so that you can do that with them too, so that they'll you know, respond that way to you too. So parents are with their kids the majority of the time. They know them better than anybody. So it's really about supporting them and helping them understand the stress response for the kid and then their stress response too. So I do a lot of deep dives into that, trying to help them understand that when certain parts take over and they get in that stress response, they're not really in a place to deal with this behavior or, you know, whatever situations come up with the kid. They need to take a break. That's so important. And we don't talk enough about our children today. I think that children definitely need additional support and coaching. So we just have a very short yeah. time left, but I would love for you to quickly take us through the process. Like if I were to call your center, what would that look like? You know, let, let's talk about that. Yeah, so you would call and, and you would have a consultation that you schedule with me, depending on what you're looking for and if it's it's kids um, or adults. I. I take into account any information, any medical records, or if kids have different diagnoses or they have a disability, obviously with the school psychology, I understand all of that stuff because I've worked in the school with disabilities. So I, I really take time ahead of time to go through the intake that I have parents or the adults fill out and look at any additional records to try to already have some kind of idea of you know what's coming in and what they're looking for. And then once we meet, we make sure that it's you know a good fit and we talk through like, I go over their history, so I'm addressing everything, any questions that I may have had about that. And then from there, we develop a plan that, that they're on board with. And that plan is a bio-individual plan. It is a bio-individual plan. See, yes. we love that. Yes. See, this is the great thing about holistic health, everybody. Bio-individuality. It's tailored to you specifically. So one more time, let's get your website because yeah. we've run out of time. I'm so sad I could talk with her all day. Give us your website one more time. It is www.resiliencesoulwellness.com. 
resilientsoulwellness.com. And we will look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much for coming yeah. on to the show, Thank Joy. It's a pleasure me. to have Joy Melton, Resilient Soul Wellness. And we will look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Health Revolution with V.